Hello family, how y'all doing? I'm just on here this morning to come and um, say this prayer that Jesus prayed for his followers to the Father before he ascended back to heaven. So let me pray and then I'll read the prayer. Dear Jehovah God, we thank you for your word. Jesus, we thank you that you cared enough to pray for us before you left to go reign in heaven with our Heavenly Father. Father, we ask that you uh, help your children to receive your word. And Holy Spirit, we invite you into this reading. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. So just let me read the prayer. And it is in John 17. And the prayer says, Jesus said these things, then lifting up his eyes to heaven, he said, Father, the time has come. Glorify your son, that your son may also glorify you, even as you gave him authority over all flesh, so he will give eternal life to all whom you have given him. This is eternal life, that they should know you, the only true God, and him who you sent, Jesus Christ. I glorified you on the earth. I have accomplished the work which you have given me to do. Now, Father, glorify me with your own self, with the glory which I had with you before the world existed. I rebuild your name to the people whom you have given me uh, out of the world. They were yours, and you have given them to me. They have kept your word. Now they have known that all things, whatever you have given me, are from you. For the words which you have given me, I have given to them, and they received them, and knew for sure that I came from you. They have believed that you sent me. I pray for them. I don't pray for the world, but for those whom you have given me, for they are yours. All things that are mine are yours, and yours are mine, and I am glorified in them. I am no more in the world, but these are in the world, and I am coming to you, Holy Father. Keep them through your name, which you have given me, that they may be one, even as we are one. While I was with them in the world, I kept them in your name. I have kept those whom you have given me. None of them is lost, except the son of destruction, that the scripture might be fulfilled. But now I come to you, and I say these things in the world, that they may have my joy made full in themselves. I have given them your word. The world hated them, because they are not of the world, even as I am not of the world. I pray not that you would take them from the world, but, you, but that you would keep them from the evil one. They are not of the world, even as I am not of the world. Sanctify them in your truth. Your word is true. As you sent me into the world, even so I have sent them into the world. For their sakes, I sanctify myself that they themselves also may be sanctified in truth. Not for these only do I pray, but for those also who believe in me through their word, that they may all be one, even as you, Father, are in me, and I in you, that they also may be one in us, that the world may believe that you sent me. The glory which you have given me, I have given to them, that they may be one, 
even as we are one. I in them and you in me, that they may be perfected into one, that the world may know that you sent me and love them even as you love me. Father, I desire that they also whom you have given me be with me where I am, that they may see my glory, which you have given me, for you loved me before the foundation of the world. Righteous Father, the world hasn't known you, but I knew you, and these knew that you sent me. I made known to them your name, and will make it known that the love which you loved me may be in them and I in them. That is the most precious prayer from Jesus Christ to the Heavenly Father for the purpose of the saints. I hope you are blessed by that word. That's one of my favorite passage scriptures. That's John 17, read from the World English Bible. i see you next time. I love you. Jesus loves you most. Bye-bye.